of the thing is that this virus mutate but every mutation is not what is matter of concern because mutation means like the way we if we write something in say let's say in hindi and english and if we write something repeatedly there is a possibility of some mistake in our writing but uh, every mistake we do in our writing is not likely to change the meaning of the our sentence meaning of our sentence but there could be some mistake which might change the meaning of this thing so mutation are those mistake which change the meaning so in omicron there are mutations which are uh, which makes it more transmissible little more uh, uh, immune escape means that they can avoid the vaccine or natural immunity but uh, it's not it is very unlikely that very quickly we would see uh, another variant which is more transmissible uh, like mutation can happen which can reduce the transmissibility which can reduce the uh, infectivity other aspects so mutation will keep happening but whether a variant with more transmissibility can appear after end february chance is very low uh, in fact uh, what we know that if we can stop uh, as we know the vaccination coverage is increasing natural infection is increasing so the transmission of virus will reduce so the we really hope that the emergence of new variant will be delayed that does not mean new variant would never emerge in the post pandemic period of endemic period while majority of the time cases would remain low but once in a while it is possible that a new variant would emerge and at that point of time we need to be prepared for that eventuality i want to give an example like to make it sim- keep it simple what is going to happen like with the omicron or covid-19 we know that uh, cyclones comes regular how do we prepare for cyclone major time you are living a normal life but if there is a cyclone alert then you prepare accordingly you move to different places and then respond to it and once cyclone is over you will start living your normal life so with covid-19 it is possible that we will be having that kind of cyclone situation that majority of period like a 16 8 month to 1 year 2 year there is like normal life but all of sudden we hear that there is a new variant which has emerged which is more transmissible so for that period we have to uh, prepared and then again once that is over we return to the normal life and that is going to be approach for uh, sars cov 2 that we will live a normal life most of the time but if there is a new that new variant has emerged we have to prepare for that and respond to that and by then uh, like once this pandemic is over all of us will be better prepared and better equipped to respond to such situation but no reason to think a new variant would emerge in near future and even if it emerge because of the omicron exposure it will provide a long term protection with the vaccination and all of this thing and of course some of the high risk population would be required to be regularly vaccinated maybe a year uh, every year or 18 months uh, every 18 months so the near future will be very different the key challenge and key thing is if we start opening and living normal life things would be normal